This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Now, usually charts are based on the data that is feeding a report, but you can base a chart on a crosstab. So the crosstab has been built, it is based on the data that is feeding the report, and then we base our chart on that crosstab. So if we take the sample by year and month crosstab here, we could turn that into a chart really quite quickly. First thing to do really is to make a place for it. We could place it here, but then if this extends, it'll overlap it. So let's go into design and create a new section. Insert section below report header, and we'll place our chart in here. So we go to insert and chart as normal. Click into report header B, all the same. What you will notice now though is there is a crosstab option on the data because Crystal Reports has spotted that there is a crosstab on the report. So crosstab on change of year or month and then subdivided by month in this case. So every time the year changes, it will create a new value and then subdivided by month. We're going to end up with a series here and show the sum of the total price. All of these values have been derived from that cross tab there. It hasn't just made them up. On the type tab, we would then choose what type of graph we want, as before, bar, line, etc. Uh, let's go line chart and OK. So that creates the graph. Now in design view, it's just a sample data. We need to preview to see what that will look like with your data. And you can see that runs from 2009 to 2010, and each of the months is a bar. Now really, the month should run on the bottom, and there should then be two lines, one for 2009, one for 2010. So we need to change that by going into Chart Options. So right click, Chart Options, and on the Legend tab, we choose to swap the series and groups. And watch the preview here. You see it then puts the months along the bottom, and one line for each of the two years. Okay. So the tidying up we might want to carry out would be the labels. Perhaps turn these months around so that they're on their side so they're not overlapping each other. Select, right click, format the axis label and turn that around to 90 degrees. And that will turn all the months around. The labels are all in chart options. Titles, instead of that long winded title there, just call it sales. Group title is month. And data title, stick a dollar sign in. Okay. The last little bit is to lose the comma and the decimal place here where it's formatted the number. Now, unfortunately, that has to be done on a one by one basis. We need to edit the axis label. So, the original label is 2,010.00. We'll replace that with 2010. And then the same for the other. Right click, edit the axis label. And we have a pretty graph. This graph is based on this cross tab. Cross tab gets its data from the data source of the report. So we've based this on this, rather than building the graph ourselves from scratch with whatever filtering might be taking place or whatever grouping, that's all been done in the cross tab. All we're doing now is effectively changing that cross tab into a pretty picture. By placing the chart in its own section, still in the report head of its own subsection, allows us to control it without it overlapping either the cross tab or any further data down the rest of the report.